He'll step through knees. He'll need to use his reach. Use his kicks to the back leg. Petrosian can do it all. Offensively beautiful, defensively superb. Both men came in as the two favourites. And now the time for talk is over. The final of the K1 Max 2010. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan with you. Good right hand lead there from Petrosian. It's a feeling out process for the Italian. Sartor began quickly against Drago in the semi finals. He began slowly against Klogowski in the quarters. There doesn't seem to be two speeds for Petrosian. It's always one methodical speed, one systematic breaking down of an opponent. Once he finds a weakness, there is nobody better in the world at exploiting it than the Lamborghini of K1 Max. Catch and counter from Petrosian. You'll consistently see him move. You'll always see his quarter turns, his head movement. We'll always get back to center ring. Sartor's gonna try and walk him down. Gonna try and force him back. Gonna try and put Petrosian's back into a corner or against the ropes. Nice right hand up the tube from Sartor. Lands the first telling punch of the fight. And again from Sartor. He's quick with the hands, Yoshihiro Sato. Former All Japan welterweight boxing champion. He's knocked out the likes of Borgiao with his hands. They're underrated, the handiwork of Sato. And look at Petrosian, leans back like Fat Joe, counters with the left hand. Then drops it down to the bread basket. Belly button through the back for the Italian. Goes back to center in. Again with the head movement. Checks the low kick. Look at the nice little lateral movement there from Petrosian. Switches angles, gets on the inside of the right hand of Sato and counters. It's effortless, Mike. It's just phenomenal. I mean, I just, uh, you know what? Please keep talking. I'll just keep watching this fight because it's, it took Petrosian literally a minute and a half to get the timing and distance right for this fight. You know, it's like he was calibrating himself for this fight and now he's starting to come in on the attack. I mean, now he's starting to figure out the game plan here. Front kick at full extension, off the back leg from Petrosian. You are seeing a very special athlete. You are seeing an extraordinary fighter. Look at the counter left, and again, one, two. Bread and butter combination from Petrosian. Sato has only touched him once with the right hand. And we've gone more than two and a half minutes in this fight. Nice high check, catches the kicking leg. Mike, I gotta tell you, unless something changes in the second round, Petrosian just took all the excitement I had for this fight out of me because it's just Petrosian at his best. Flawless. All over again. Look at the head movement. We thought it was good earlier in the night. Against Zambini, who was superb in that third round. But here, it's just gone up another level. It's like they program a computer. And I'm not talking a old computer. I'm talking like a high-level Apple Mac that doesn't get a virus, Mike. You program it and it just runs forever. And it runs perfectly. That is Giorgio Petrosian. But it's almost like an intelligent computer. Like the one that, that has that artificial intelligence in him. Because, I mean, if you just watch him, the first minute and a half of the round, he used the tip kicks to keep Sato away. And he, used, and, and he was programming himself exactly on a timing and on what Sato wanted to do. And when he got it, he went to town. And now watch, from here on, it's just gonna be Petrosian all the way, unless Sato turns up the aggression. Here we go, second round of action. Two judges giving it a draw. One judge going 10-9 to Giorgio Petrosian. Sartor's going to pick up pace here. Catch and counter from Petrosian. Look how he feels with that lead hand. The right hand of the southpaw. Watch for the little intricate movements. The footwork, the head movement. Look how he puts the gloves in the face. He sticks the forearms up. He juts the elbows out. Allowing clean shots to get through here. You see the counter again. The quickness of that left hand. And he cracks the back leg of Sato. That's usually Sato's trick. Step through knee just above the 
liver section hitting the right rib cage. The jab. Sato looks almost a little intimidated here by the speed of Petrosian. He looks really intimidated by the speed of Petrosian. He's also abandoned the enormous output of leg kicks and knees that he's shown in the previous two fights. Granted, some of it is probably just because his legs are tired and, and beat up from the previous fights. Petrosian checks the low kick. The movement of Giorgio Petrosian is just a treat to behold. He's bloodied up that nose there. Top lips all red. Sartor looking like a circus clown. Petrosian is just going to work on him here. Checks the low kick. He range finds with that lead hand, Petrosian. Sticks it in Sartor's face. Nice flipping left. And again, left counter. Dead centre. Up the tube. Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. And look at Petrosian. Quarter turn off to his right. Quarter turn off to the right again. He's turning away from the power hand of Sartor. Checks the low kick. Again goes off to his right. Inside leg kick. Nice and high on the femoral profunda. Sartor is just being made to look like a shadow of the fighter we saw against Drago in the semi-finals. He gets rocked with that right hand. There's another right hand to the draw. And now you feel Petrosian is unloading some heavier artillery. Now he is finding the power shots. 15 seconds remaining. And what has been another good round for the champion. Always moving. Never a stagnant target. Okay, puts the jab on the nose and then just a third of a step backwards to make sure he's out of counter range. That is excellent. You can see Mike there. Frustration on the face of Sato. What do you do? What do you tell him? I saw Sato limping after he got out of the last fight. And, you know, maybe his legs just took a toll and, you know, he knows what to do, but he just can't do it. Because I just can't imagine a fighter would go from throwing, you know, 300 some odd knees and God knows how many kicks to just not throwing knees or kicks at all. Or virtually at all in this round. But Petrosian is just... Petrosian is just Petrosian. Third and final round. All three judges going to Petrosian in the second. He leads 2019 on two. 2018 on the third judge. And Petrosian opens up strongly. Look at the punching. The footwork. But you sense a little more aggression now about Sartor. Is he going to be able to make a fight out of it here in the third round? Petrosian scores with a leg kick. Fakes. Snakes that jab. Oh, the uppercut rocked the head back. Takes the leg kick. And he jabs. Again, he turns into the jabbing hand of Sartor. Away from the cross. Step through knee from Sartor. There's the counter from Petrosian. And again... That left hand stiffer than a box of Viagra. There is blood spewing out of the nose of Yoshihiro Sato. Petrosian is schooling him. Petrosian is owning him. Sato has no answers. And it's time for Sato to change it up. He's got to realize he's not going to win a points game here. He's going to start throwing those knees on the inside. He's not even been the first of the punch. Petrosian has been the aggressor. You see Petrosian again lands the first punch. And a beautiful counter left hook. 
front kick to the midsection. The jab drop tries him. The uppercut. Every technique permitted. And the K1 rule set is being executed by Giorgio Petrosia. Behold him. Look at him try to sweep out the back leg of Sartre. Do you see him try to sweep around the ankle? Just beautiful. It's just really a, a, a treat for the fans. I mean, you just sit back and watch. Because you're watching probably one of the finest fighters of all time fighting here. What do you beat in the K1 Max champions of the past? I say yes. The crowd are rallying here for Sato. And he gets tagged with a left hand that sends him back three paces. Italian leather. He's the finest in the world, and Sato has worn a lot of it in this fight. Final 10 seconds, he tries to juke it out now, but he's not going to catch Georgia. It's like you can't duke it out with a guy. He dukes it out right back with you 10 times fold. You have seen another magical performance by arguably the greatest striker on the planet. Giorgio Petrosian will become the first ever two-time consecutive K1 match. Well, champion. Look at the uppercut. The range of technique in that final round. Extraordinary overhand right. That's off the lead hand. Look at the evasion. Gets on the inside, leans back, counters with a cross. Just those millimeters in the head movement. And immediately body locks so there's no counter. And then circles around and comes back with a counter. It's just phenomenal. He's done it, and he's done it easily. It looked like another glorified sparring session. He's best in the finals because he's got nothing to lose. It's the last fight. There it is. History in the making. You can have your Mayweather's. You can have your Pacquiao's. You can have your Sun Choice or King Star. You can have your GSP's, your Anderson Silver's.